We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line with the Minnesota Vikings. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And incomplete to open things up. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Dances by him. Call it no gain on the dump off, and it's third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. That's caught by Treadwell. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Vikings. Laquan Treadwell, 54 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Once again, they run with Breda on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Here we go, Six here we go, yards here we go. on that last play. Here's second and four. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Garoppolo out wide here to Samuel. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they here handed go, it go. to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! 54. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. Now Garoppolo. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if they fell harmlessly to the ground. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shamar Stephan with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And the punt team on now as this one set away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And out now come the Vikings. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Exit, exit. Where's that? Where's that? Running the jet sweep. This is Thielen with it. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. This is taken at the 18. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well we struck. We and that will come the offense go. as they take over. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make right five, here, right here. six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. 
Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route. Here we go, here we you go, are go. conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 18 yards, first down Niners. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Like 20. Check 55 to Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. That's it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think right, I'm going to be go, correct. Go, go. But I would hey. like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and shut them down. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 34-yard line. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Here we go, Four here we go. yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Backwards, back to the 33. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Kendrick Bourne, 33 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go, fellas. And now out comes Minnesota. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's a quick throw to Thielen. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First down, here's the run with Cook. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, it's Cook. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On third down, Cousins. And that is incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. We've got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards to pick up, Let's and that's back. a first down. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Here we go, so here they'll go, come up first in 10 now from the 33. Okay, double it, double it, double it. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. To throw is Garoppolo. It's caught by Sanders. Four yards, the pickup, first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him, 
everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Let's bring it. On second and a long way to go. Garoppolo. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. This time they stay on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Breida to get the third quarter started. Oh, now Breida loses it. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Tie game, but they'll get excellent starting field position here to begin the second half. And it's the starting field position that makes an offensive coordinator maybe bolder than normal. Maybe you want to take the big shot right now. Go for a big play and get their attention early or even just run your offense because you feel good about where you are and a chance to move the ball downfield. Yeah, maybe they go for the big play. Time to find out. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. They go play action. Cousins. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Play action now. Cousins. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Bailey's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? 
when they only give up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield punching the end zone without turning it over not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed go, fast. We, go. and we gotta get to the ball, D. We gotta get to the ball. Man. They run again with Breda. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup. That's gonna set up an interesting third and about four to go. Tough day tough sledding right there and it's been that way the entire game not a whole lot of room to ramble for him here we go yeah you're right it's been that way all afternoon didn't get a whole lot better there there's garoppolo to throw on the screen this is coleman that one goes for eight yards Third and four, he did just enough. I mean, just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do right, just that. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. There to knock that one away defensively, Eric Kendricks. CD, with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we'd put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th. Who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next, and rightly so because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is the prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes has gathered together, the defense is playing better, and Buffalo really showed me something. And it's a fumble. And all have caught it up, and the Vikings pick up the football. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Bailey got the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is born. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Garoppolo on first down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. 
That one good for 20 on the catch and run. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Garoppolo now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing here excellent go, defense. Go. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and now it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man go, on go. man, you and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The well, pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Completes it to Coleman. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. It was a solid check down there with pressure coming, wasn't it? It was because you're trying to go through your progression. And when you have that type of pressure in your face, it changes what you're doing and how fast you have to do your reads and able to come back and find him in open space. That's a really nice play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Mike, here we go, here we go. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Come on, the ball. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Everson Griffin able to get him for a loss of about three. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of go, most go, quarterbacks. Go. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. The Niners on third down. Check, check. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Play action. Garoppolo. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. Get Garoppolo now, first down throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Hey, here we go, here we go, Two big go. plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. <laughs> On first down, here's Breida. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Yeah! They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could Come very on, easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Garoppolo now on third and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A seven-yard touchdown grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Gold with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, right what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. To throw, Cousins. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Three bucks, three bucks. And they're going to go with the jet sweep. This is Diggs with it. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On play action, Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. To throw is Cousins. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he gets it down to the 32. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame.
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. On the carry, it's Cook. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run. Cook. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Attempt carry in the game for Cook. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down 20-14, to 14, a little over a minute to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! He'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Garoppolo to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch and precious time ticking off the clock. Clock rolling here. About to hit 30 seconds. To throw is Garoppolo. And his throw here is incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. But now it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple go, plays go. and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. 
These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Back to throw. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at the 40. Cousins just going to take this one down to a knee and end it. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.